<coughs> RTL design. So register transfer level that is RTL. So it's representing digital circuit in abstract level. So basically digital circuits are having two elements. One is combinational circuit, another one is sequential circuit. So sequential circuit and combinational circuit that is discussed in previous videos. And combinational example is an order subtractor max T max. And sequential circuit example flip flop counter. So there are two commonly used variants RTL, namely Verilog and VHDL. Uh, that's a hardware description languages. <coughs> Simply we can write the text entry. So this is basic uh, D flip flop. They have input clock reset data in and output is data out. So if the clock is low, uh, then the output there is no output you will be getting. If the clock is high, so what is data input there? That the thing you will be getting it as output. For example, you see the program. So process is clock and reset and begin. So if reset zero. So if it is reset 0, then there is no data output. There is no output. If clock is 1 and also clock even, then data out you will be getting data in. So data in what is the input, the same thing will be getting in the output. Then end if and end process. So this is basic uh, program. And the RTL synthesize. So RTL synthesizer uh, primarily responsible to convert code into the gate level netlist. So RTL synthesizer is nothing but primarily responsible to convert the code into gate level netlist. That is called as RTL synthesizer. Okay. Then um, RTL timing analysis. So RTL timing analysis there are three different levels one is rtl level another one is gate level and uh, last one is layout level so rtl level so this is uh, register transfer level register transfer level so in that level uh, uh, is faster and cost effective approach <coughs> for some <coughs> find the same problem during the timing analysis so at the gate level and layout level or fabrication so timing analysis of the layout level will be always more accurate it's an expensive and uh, tender to jobs okay so <clears throat> rtl synchronous and asynchronous logic so gate level layout layout level is final before the manufacturer they will be get it layout level diagrams so rtl synchronous asynchronous logic so this is synchronous uh, logic so clock reset is there begin if the reset is one then uh, this is a uh, basic d flip flop uh, coding so reset is one so do the reset q is zero that means uh, the q is cleared then class if rising edge clock is there then the output uh, you know that the input d output is q so d will be come to q and if so this is a <coughs> synchronous process the synchronous process if rising edge is there then reset one then q is zero else uh, the input is come to output q so this is a synchronous process and this one is a synchronous process for rtl design an RTL simulation, uh, a good design that can meet the timing requirement is a one of the part of the flow, and the design verification is the second part. Okay, so uh, here are the RTL design simulation simulator like model sim, model sim they also they used for simulation, also xilinx, uh, then um, like micro micro semi FPGA. Uh, Intel, uh, so these are the things methodology UVM verification. So, these are the simulation tools for RTL. Uh, so, this is the RTL uh, design flow the FPGA SIG and RTL design flow. This is FPGA, is there <coughs> FPGA uh, RTL design flow? So, field programmable gate array that is FPGA specification is there. So, what are the specification needed then? Uh, register transfer level that uh, we have to write the coding part 
and behavioral simulation so we have to use that uh, simulation tool to simulate the coding and synthesize so finally <coughs> for getting layout we have to synthesize <coughs> and we have to find where the place and route that uh, tools uh, uh, fabrication site fpga so similarly for asic design flow for rtl same specification rtls behavioral simulation synthesis everything same only different they put it as floor planning so before place and route they put it as floor planning after they write it is place and route and verify the circuit so this is rtl usage of asic design flow and rtl tools so just now we discussed xilinx uh, intel ultra and snapsys tool rtl architect cadence then a rtl synthesis tool so this is vlsi design flow uh, design specification schematic capture create symbol simulation layout design rules check out extraction this is vlsi design flow this is y chart for vlsi design behavioral domain structural domain physical domain so y chart okay thank you <coughs>